we got a heck of an operation going on right here. We've got the snow dog, tracked lawnmower firing up behind us. We've got a bunch of sled shanties, bunch of hooligans. We got a convoy going on today. Hopefully we're gonna get her done. Sure don't like slosh very much. No, Whew. I saw I was struggling there. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to come back and by the time I come back and get John Corey will probably be here, so you're probably honestly sitting there. Um like this. Well, if you want, if you want. Oh, boy. It's pretty weird either way you do it. You should oh. probably you got that around your. Yeah. Oh. Well, put your. Are you just hold. Put it around your. Uh, around here. Well, no. I'm gonna fucking no. I'll Come hold on. on to it. No, it'll go like this. <laughs> Plus. All right. You're the third trip. and get people and that's everything huh? just back for people and that's everything all right I won't kill you <laughs> not this time at least <laughs> All right, you're almost in there. Just like a lazy boy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll come back to that. Oh, you put it, yeah, you can probably just put it in between the legs. Corey, you start walking out there, I'll pick you up. What's that? We'll just roll you over. <laughs>
tell me to grab the minnows. No, I didn't, because they were there. Okay, I'll go grab them then. I forgot. Yeah, that's a little bumpy. But no, I'll give you a hand. Alright, you're up. <laughs> Old Corey, I'm raising a big mark off the bottom. Couple marks. Oh, going back down, you bugger. Wow, that was really lame. <laughs> what? I just raised a fish like two foot off the bottom. He didn't eat it. He's still down there, That's though. That's a big fish. I think it's a crop or a donkey gill. Pike would have just clomped it by now. Yeah. He's there. One second. Oh, come on, bugger. That's a big mark. Oh. I just got a little fucking point TV bite. Did you? Yeah. But, um, you want to give me a ride to Alice truck? Yeah. Um, what do you guys all need to know? Chair, buckets, like that. Mm -hmm. One second. Might have found them, boys. Yeah, found them. Crappies, baby, crappies. No, that won't keep. It's like a six. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Ha <laughs> ha. Target species. Oh, I've been bouncing around quite a bit. Oh, might pay off. Got a squad out here. Hopefully we'll catch some crappies. Some nice ones at least. More down there. Could be a school right here. Hopefully there's some big girls. That was about three times the size of the ones I was catching the other night. I got one right behind me. Oh, I'm on a school, boys. Yeah, I'm on a school. Well, I got one. Just missed one. Got another one. Bluegill, small. My screen is absolutely loaded right now. What is going on? Where am I in this mess? That's a good mark there. Let's try to get that one. What? This is chaos. Somebody come look at this. <laughs> Holy fuck. My sensitivity is all the way down, too. These are all... This is all fish. Where are you? This, this one right here. You want to move? I got one behind me. No, I got to retie. I don't know if you tied that line to itself or something. No, I, I got no battery, bro. I got a hole right behind me, though. There he is. Oh my god, I'm not catching big ones, but... He's lit up. He's got a hole right behind him, man. Give me the rest of your battery, though. You ain't gonna be able to trust me. Let me try. Trust me. I'll drill, I'll try to drill another one right here if you just want to fish this. Here, I will take this. Maybe this other battery's gone. 
Then yeah, somebody get that one behind me. I'll put one out Master, here. Bring the balls. No. <laughs> yeah, working real good. No, we ain't drawing holes until he gets back. All right, there's one behind me there, right there, and one there, and there's another one over there. Yeah, I just got three in within like yeah, that's your shit. all dinkers, but maybe might have found the fish, boys. Oh, Schlachter. No way I have any wax. Yes, yeah, missed three in a row, four in a row. Okay, bait it up. Got him. That's a nicer one. Maybe not. In the deuce. Another gill. Getting a little bigger, boys. Slowly but surely going in the right direction. I thought it was going to be on the crop. He's first fish I pulled. It was a crop, and then I pulled up three bluegills. Oh, ho, ho. Don't ask me dumb questions you already know the answer to. A Haley jig with a tampered hook. Oh my gosh. Make some connections here, boys. I'm like four for 14 over here. Right off the bottom or what? About, yeah, half crank. Oh my Lanta, Billy. There he is. That's a good one, boys. Oh, I'm in the deucer, too. No, not a good one, but a better one. Yeah, gill. That's wild. First fish is a crappie, and it's all gills after that. It's kind of disappointing. Got another one. Still not the keepers that we're after. But still not another crappie. floating the hole is kind of a pain in the butt. My drill's dead, so I can't drill another hole next to it. <laughs> we'll make it work. Oh, finally got a good mark chasing. You gonna get the minnow on the right or the waxy on the left? He's, I don't know, he's not hitting anything yet. I'm not gonna hit anything. We well, might want that minnow. Come on, bugger, don't make me work this hard. It's a big old mark. For the pike, you would have smoked it. Big old mark. These two top marks. Top one's a split shot. Right, everybody. Well, hope you enjoyed that video. That was our first time actually taking the snow dog out onto the ice. Rode it around the house a couple of times. Thing is pretty sweet. As you saw, the only downside to it is it does not like slush. And uh, we found out later on the way back, we put everything, all the gear pretty much into my one man shanty and then hooked that behind the sled that you sit in to drive the snow dog. And coming back through the slush, I think we found the big problem is the, not so much the sled you drive because that's about as wide as the track of the snow dog. But if you have anything behind that that's wider, that just drops down into the slush and just sticks. So we were finding that you could pull that up on, you know, get it on top of that crusty layer and then goose her and she'd, she'd usually go. Doesn't like slush. Awesome, awesome on, uh, on cat. Would you get out of my closet? Oh my God. Or was I? Oh yeah, gas. I think it's like a gallon, maybe a gallon and a half tank. And I think, well, the other day I did a five mile round trip to the lake and back. And I think I burned not even a quarter tank of gas. So you could go a long distance. Haven't quite found out how far. We'll be doing that here pretty soon. Next lake I want to go to is, yeah, five and a half miles one way to drive there with a car. So with the snow dog, it might be a little bit longer, maybe five and a half, six miles one way. So if I can do that and back, then uh, pretty much the couple of lakes that I want to hit that are snow dog are uh are definitely there 
As far as weight goes, things like 200, 250 pounds. So two people can pick it up, put it on a trailer, put it in the back of a pickup truck fairly easily. Nice studs on the track. It does pretty good. Ideal, you want ideal ice conditions. You know, no slush. Not too much powder. Supposedly the guy that we got from, supposedly you can break trail through uh, through two feet of powder if you're not hauling any gear. So uh, we still have to test her, find out what her limits are. The only thing we've found out so far is to do your best to avoid slush pockets, which are kind of an inevitable thing when it comes to uh, when it comes to ice fishing. So especially when it gets a little bit later in the year. Luckily, some of our some of our lakes that were super slushy are starting to stiffen up and be a little bit better. As far as the fishing went. Um, this was our third crappie adventure. Thought we were just going to schlock them. As you saw, I sat down in that hole. Wham, crappie. Big school down there on the fish finder. Thought it was going to be crappie, 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 crappie. As you saw, it was crappie, bluegill, 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 bluegill. And uh, we stayed out this night until probably like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. Other buddies were packing up the pop-up, and I'm still sitting in my little one-man fishing, fishing, fishing. As soon as they got everything packed up, set the hook, boom, crappie. Not a big one, not like a five, maybe five and a half incher. But as far as we know, they're there. I mean, we mark fish all through the night, big suspended marks, big marks on the bottom. They're not smoking it, so I don't think they're pike. We have caught quite a few pike on that lake in the middle of the night. Um, I don't think they're bluegills. I don't think the bluegills are that active out there during the night. As far as catching the crappies, though, this is where we need your help. If you guys have any experience catching crappies at night in the winter, drop some info down in the comment section. We've tried wax worms, we've tried minnows, we've tried glow jigs, no glow um, minnows with single hooks and split shots. We've tried pretty much everything that we use to catch crappies in the past. The only thing we haven't tried is wigglers, which uh, as soon as the bait shop here gets some more, we'll be giving those a try. But Really just a uh, video to show you guys our, uh, our new track, Lawnmower. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, thank you for your support and happy adventures.